All right, greetings, everybody. Greetings. Good morning. Good morning. It's Kenny J with Gobi Trade House. I want to welcome everybody to Coffee in the Morning with Gobi. Uh, we do this call every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., giving you motivation, inspiration, and strategy. All right, uh, very excited this morning today. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope everybody's coming in this morning with the good, the positive vibes, okay? Uh, listen to some positive music this morning before the call. All right, uh, we're very excited this morning, guys. We have some very exciting news that we want to announce uh, here uh, uh, in the next few minutes on the call. Uh, today is a very good day, all right? Number one, today is payday, all right? So anybody who has earned a residual within the past week, um, if you're expecting a residual, uh, residual payout this past week, guys, let me go ahead and get some dollar signs in the chat if you're expecting a residual payout. Let's see some dollar signs in the chat. If you made some uh, referrals this past week and you're expecting a payout today, all right? All right, beautiful, beautiful guys. A lot of people are expecting uh, a payout today. Uh, building their residual income, the amazing thing about Gobi and our compensation plan, every single referral that you get compounds on your residual income. When you have one referral in this business, you now are a residual income earner at least $40, okay, which is a 40% profit share with Gobi, all right? So one person, literally one referral is $40 a month in residual income, all right? That's powerful, all right? Because other programs that we came from, uh, you would need, in order for you to access your residual income, you would at least need 10 referrals uh, to even start making any type of residuals. But here in Gobi, we have instant residuals, no gaps, no legs, no ranks, just a fair profit share with Gobi Trade House, all right, up to 40 to 60%, okay, depending on where you're at uh, in, on, on that chart, all right? But shout out to everybody who's been building the business. We have some people in Gobi who are already making residual income to a point where it's taking care of major bills in our household, electricity bills, cable, phone bills, um, you know, car notes, some people are even paying their rent. Some people even retired from their nine to five from the residuals and it's only been 30 days. So uh, those who are actually building, uh, I'm just imagining how far you're actually gonna be, all right, over these next 90 days, six months and a year as you compound and build your online customer subscription-based business. So this is a big deal, so it's a great start. And we're definitely gonna make sure everybody's <laughs> taken care of before the evening um, once we do the release of, of payroll. So. A shout out to everybody who is uh, building, uh, uh, building their subscription-based business <clears throat> inside and with Gobi Trade House. All right. So, um, before we get everything started this morning, uh, I just want to see: Do we have any new people on right now? Uh, this is your first time on a coffee in the morning with Gobi. All right. Or if you're just now getting started in Gobi Trade House, let's get a one 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 in the chat, guys. Let me get a one 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 in the chat. Is this your first time on a coffee in the morning with Gobi? or you're just now getting started inside of Gobi Trade House? Any new people? Okay, we have Jay Ned. We have Tammy Gee. Any new people, any other new people, just please put a 111 in the chat. We definitely wanna uh, recognize our new family members. All right. All right, so we have uh, Jay Ned and Tammy Gee. <laughs> I definitely want to say welcome to Gobi Trade House uh, and everybody inside of Gobi. Uh, you guys know how we do. We definitely want to give some positive vibes, positive energy uh, to our new family members and welcome to our financial fraternity and sorority. Uh, if you want to go ahead and type welcome in the chat or feel free to unmute yourself and scream and yell welcome uh, to our new uh, family members. So welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. to the family. Welcome. Let's go. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to making a step to financial freedom. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, he beat you to it this time. He beat you to it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Listen, uh, welcome. Listen, in Gobi Trade House, we try to create an environment uh, where you are celebrated, not just tolerated. We know life can be hard at home, at work, or just navigating through this world, right? So uh, what we want to do is uh, create a place for you. Well, let, let me hit mute. Give me one second, guys. I hear a little noise in the background there. Uh, mute all. Boom. All right. Uh, we, we know that 90% of your success or your failures 
are going to come from the environment that you place yourself in. So in this environment, all right, we want to make sure that you're uplifted. We want to make sure that you have people who are telling you, look, you could do it. You could hit your goals. All right. Pushing you to that next level. You have accountability partners and you're in here with a lot of people who are on a process towards financial freedom. All right. And learning and mastering the art and the skill of navigating the Forex market. So my best advice for you is definitely to network with people inside of Gobi Trade House. Uh, you see people having success, ask them questions. All right. And ask them about their routine. What do they do? What sessions do they tune into? How do they take notes? All right. And so many different things that you can learn from other people, but you have made the right step and the right jump on your way to success, which is putting yourself in the right environment, which is the number one thing. So salute to you guys for uh, making that step and taking that step. And we definitely want to push you and help you uh, accomplish all every single goal that you want inside of Gobi Trade House. All right. So other than that, before we go ahead and get into our topics for today, uh, I know Carlos told me earlier his phone is about to die. So I want to make sure he could drop some nuggets before uh, his phone runs out of battery. So, Carlos, how you feeling this morning? Man, I'm, 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 I'm feeling great, man. I'm, I'm excited. You know, everything that, that's taking place, I look at the squirrel. Squirrel, you know. So um, I decided to go ahead and go back to my tribal instinct and come and get this, you know, natural, medicinal, nature <laughs> you know so i think when it when it comes down to to life you have to always remember that our ancestors were part of this life we're so comfortable in you know in the city the city life stuck on our phones stuck on the tv you know so you have to remember that your body has to have nature your body needs it's a natural medicine and people don't understand it you know getting in grass, getting, you know, fresh air. And uh, man, so I decided to go ahead and, and jumpstart the day with, with a quick little walk in the, uh, in the wilderness and uh, been enjoying it, man. And uh, ultimately, I guess everything comes down to uh, what I understand as self-discipline. I believe self-discipline is self-love. OK, and there's a reason behind it. When you're when you're undisciplined, you're not doing enough in life. You're going walking by the standard, walking by the norm. And that's not the way you need to be here at Gobi. You need to be different. See, to achieve something different in life, you have to do something different. OK, so it starts with self-love, self-affirmations. You know, stepping out, getting some fresh air, getting your blood going, getting your flow going, getting your that juice and your body moving, you know, and I feel it too. Well, I feel it too. I actually, uh, uh, you know, maybe some of y'all weren't on, but recently, you know, we had a little minor accident. Uh, I had to get 10 staples. Jasmine had to actually get her lip uh, 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 stitched up. So... They gave me this medicine, and this medicine's got my body itching right now. Like, my body is itching. I, I broke out in some quick hives real quick. But that doesn't determine that I'm down or anything like that. No, I feel great, you know, and I feel, I feel great because of what we're doing with people, what we're doing, what we've, what, what, what's being created. Because ultimately, in life, your goal is to become a creator. Your goal is to become an achiever. And the way that you do this is to just do it. You know, Kenny used to always laugh when I said, you know, just just do it like, like Nike, just do it. You know, so I'm out here right now enjoying it. I feel like Joe Threats right now. You know, Joe Threats the other day was, uh, was in the snow and I believe that that was medicinal for him as well. So look, enjoy life, enjoy where you're at. Understand that Everything is a, a process. Everything is, is progression. I always like to say that no matter how much you swing, you'll never, you're never going to be perfect. You know, like nobody's perfect, but ultimately you will achieve progression. You know, and you have to remember that all, all the progression that, that you will be achieving comes from consistency in your actions. You know, a, a lot of the stuff that I say, it may be repetitive, 
but it's repetitive for a reason because I have to say it to myself all the time as well. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't give up. You know, giving up, you know, is, is a coward way of going. You cannot stop. Usually when I tell you that the Forex market is not a, a thing that you're going to learn, you know, on a one month base, that's a reality. The reality is that Forex is a lifetime deal. And the good thing about it is that you're not doing it on your own. You're not doing it by yourself. You have Kenny, you have me, you have Joe, you have the coalition of leaders out here, you know, that literally took a step, you know, into a, into a new way of life, of, you know, freedom. You know, a lot of people really are quitting their jobs because this could eventually become a full-time gig for you. And you have to remember that it's a full-time gig, you know, to go ahead and step into a new realm. There's people out there that don't enjoy what they're doing. They don't enjoy it. They don't enjoy going to work. They don't enjoy answering to their bosses. They don't enjoy the fact that, you know, there's outside forces that have so much control of their life, you know? But the thing about it is that they are paralyzed by fear. They're paralyzed by fear to do something different. So what I'm doing is that I'm encouraging you to do something different. I'm encouraging you to say, you know what? Today is a new day, you know? I want you to start writing down your dreams on paper. I want you to start writing them down. If your goal is to be a six-figure Forex trader, then you need to write it down. Write it down, call it into existence. See, that's what you're gonna get here with Gobi, is that you're gonna start understanding that you, you are a vessel of magic. And you could actually bring whatever you want to your existence, but it all starts here. And you need to put it on a pad. And the reason that you put it in a pad is because you're taking the energy from your mind, from your heart. You're putting it into the existent world, the world of, of that we exist in as of now. And you are literally combining the two entities and this energy will start manifesting in your life. I'm, I'm a firm believer in energy. I'm a firm believer in positive energy, okay? so. For anybody out there, you may be feeling down. You may, you know, maybe stuff's not going wrong. Medical reports say that, that you're not going to make it. Or medical reports say that you're not doing good. Look, tell yourself that you are an achiever. Tell yourself that you will overcome any obstacle that's in your way. And I'm telling you, you will overcome those obstacles, okay? It's all here in your mind. It's all here. And you have to remember that to call any to, anything to existence, anything it starts with your mind right starts with your heart but then you need to fill it in your tummy you need to fill the feeling as if you already got it you already achieved it and by connecting those three things it becomes a reality okay so if you want to become a successful forex trader it's not going to just happen overnight but you need to start you need to start connecting the dots from here to here to here the emotion in the stomach is actually what does it the emotion of already having it, that emotion. Imagine the feeling of already obtaining that quick little $20,000 pot. Now, if you're constantly believing in a $20,000 loss, well, you're gonna achieve that $20,000 loss and that's not what we want, okay? It's all about your focus, your energy, you know, your paradigm shift is being shifted, but it's a process. And you have to remember that that's a process. And me, I'm super grateful for you know, all the people that we have, uh, that we we, 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 uh, we, we, we have in the table, okay? Because we are a real fraternity. We are a real sorority. I would rather be part of this fraternity and this sorority than any other fraternity and any other sorority. Why? Because we're talking about better in our lives. We're actually working together for a bigger purpose, okay? You have to remember the definition of group economics which is basically an ecosystem of people that are coming together to go ahead and achieve a better life together, okay? So put yourself in a very, you already put yourself in a better environment by being with us in Gobi Trade House, okay? So the last thing I wanna say is your phone. If you're not careful with your phone, your phone will steal away your life. You'll be scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram, scrolling on TikTok, okay? 
And if you're not careful, that's actually going to steal away from your time. And that's, that's something that you need to be self-disciplined with. Be self-disciplined with your phone. Be self-disciplined with your time. All right. You're going to have to put yourself some notes on your, on your, on your, in your house to remind yourself, Hey, get back to training. Hey, get back to reading the charts. Hey, get back to doing your support and resistance. Get back to lunch and learns with, with Joe Threat. You know, always keep yourself a reminder. This is not a game. This is real life. And the only way that it's going to change is if you do something different. And by doing something different is actually this right now, right here at the very moment. With that being said, I am on 3% right now. God bless each and every one of y'all. Kenny, thank you for everything that, that you bring to the table. Mike Taylor, everything that you do as well. Mike Spot Check, you know, all the systems that you're working in the background. Joe Threats, the lunch and learns that you're doing. D, the inspiration that you're bringing to all the women. The same with Chica, the same with Andron, the same with all the other leaders here. Understand that this is a movement. It's a movement, and we're moving mountains because because our, our actual belief system is bigger than a mustard seed. And with that being said, God bless each and every one of y'all. I'll go ahead and give it back to you, Kenny. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you uh, sharing uh, powerful words and powerful information this morning out there uh, with some great views out there. So thank you for sharing that uh, motivation and inspiration. All right. And now we always talk about that. We always talk about the environment. Okay, the environment is so important. And again, speaking to all the new people and people who've been here uh, for some time, uh, if you hang around, you know, for uh, people who are not on a path where they want to be successful, all right, or like they said, they hang around four broke people, you end up being the fifth or broke minded people, because I think broke is not a financial status, it's a mentality, right? And the same thing, if you hang around for rich people, or just not rich financially, but that wealth mindset, that mindset that they really want to go get it, right? They really, uh, they're going to accomplish their goals no matter what. They're going to uh, break down any barriers or obstacles to accomplish their goals. If you're hanging around people like that, all right, especially if you're within the same vehicle, all right, for example, us here in Gobi Trade House, all of us want to become master traders, all right? You're going to be the fifth. So right now you have 111 people on right now. All right, so if you're here right now and you're hanging around these people on a consistent basis, you're going to be the 112th, all right, successful person, but you have to stick and stay in the environment, all right, so all that stuff can manifest itself, all right? So uh, let me go ahead and pass it to Dee. Uh, she had a couple nuggets for us, and uh, then we're going to move into a trade review, and then we'll go into our, our announcement today in, uh, uh, in regards to our indicator. So uh, Dee, can you hear me? Are you on? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. And now I can see you now, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So um, for the new people, my name is Dee Garrett. I'm one of the leaders of the Women of Gobi. And so welcome once again. And um, I wanted to just share a couple things about, um, I guess, along the lines of customer service. So first of all, I want to I say thank you and give a shout out to Mike Taylor yesterday because um, I was just talking to him on the side and he invited me to actually come on to um, our team building and leadership training yesterday. So um, if you were on that training and you learned something new about what you can do with your Facebook profile, let me see some one one ones in the chat. Beautiful. Thank you. And you know, the thing is, is that um, as, we're, as we're in this business of Forex, whether you're choosing to build your business and earn the residual income, or if you're just here to learn, there's still a way to present yourself on Facebook. And I was speaking from um, an experience of actually taking time and learning Facebook strategies over the last year. So I was sharing that. So if you missed yesterday's training, I encourage you to go back and watch the replay. But um, one of the things that's most important that you wanna keep in mind is the fact that number one with Gobi Trade House, we are a customer acquisition company. You don't have to recruit to succeed in this business. However, of course we have an amazing compensation plan that you can benefit from and we already spoke about that. But the thing is, is that people do business with people they know, like, and trust. 
And how does somebody get to know, like, and trust you if they really don't even know you and they only know you virtually? I mean, because everybody here, I mean, I shouldn't say everybody, but majority of the Gobi Treehouse family, we've talked about the fact that we've never even met each other in person, but we still have this bond and this connection. And so how do you gain that know, like, and trust with people? And it is be, it, it's by being customer service minded and presenting yourself as being one that's going to offer uh, value to other people. So not only in what it is that you post on your page, but how you interact with those people. So one of the things that I had mentioned is <clears throat> as you're growing your friend, that you want to grow your friends list. But what I didn't mention is as you're starting to grow that friends list, um, and this is the organic strategy, I guess, if you will, because Mike's strategy is definitely for building a team. But then people are going to start still friend requesting you just based on the content on your page. And if you go to their page and they look like somebody that's like minded, that's a, a self-employed entrepreneur, maybe they're not in Forex yet. You know, you definitely want to connect with them because Facebook brings those people to you, those people that you might have similar groups that you're a part of with. Um, once you start that conversation or communication with them, ask questions. Um, again, be of a service mind. So the other thing is, as you're asking questions, and if you're leading down the path of bringing them into our family, establish what their expectations are or understand what their expectations are. Because, you know, of course, with us being a newly launched company, we still have things being developed. And surprisingly, um, I think in the first week of January, somebody new came to the company and I ended up speaking with that person and they didn't even realize that we were just launching. And there's a lot of things that we're working through, right? A lot of kinks and a lot of trial and error and um, we're making our way through it, but we need to know what the expectation is of that customer that we're bringing in. So you need to make sure that they understand where we are, what we're doing, and to allow grace, you know, while we have these fluid parts that are still being put in place. So um, that's one thing that's important. Also, um, even with the people that you may have brought in, maybe it's one or two people, maybe it's 25 people, get, get feedback on their experience because the only way that you're gonna be able to uh, continue to, I guess, grow on the residual side and for us as a, as a company to grow is of course retention. And so, take the constructive criticism, get the feedback that you need from people um, that you're talking to that are either directly or not even directly, you know, and I'm sure Jordan probably has a lot of information being customer service rep that he's filtering back to our corporate side to improve us. But share that information and pass it along to the person that brought you in so that we can get it to the right people and we can make the changes that we need to make in order to be the successful company, company that we're striving to be, okay? Um, let's see here. Let's... So uh, I guess in all aspects of your business, um, whether you have other businesses besides Gobi, um, Trade House, you know, just keep the customer in mind first and foremost, because that's what's going to fuel your business. And um, again, I just wanted to share those few things because, you know, we're all here to grow, whether it's strategically, you know, by going out and seeking these people, or it's organically by the people that actually come to us by things we're actually seeing or, or things that we're sharing on social media, um, people are definitely gonna start asking. So we want you to be equipped with the right stuff and of the right mindset to be able to move forward in your business. Um, also, one last thing that I did share um, that's shared in that strategy yesterday is just so everybody knows, because I see this in our chats often. When somebody asks for us to come show love on their post, um, if you have the time to go to their page and click on it, show love in the sense of a heart, a care button, um, a, 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 the laughing face, something on those um, points as far as strategy, not the thumbs up. And it's not just showing an emotion it's also leaving a comment. We want to grow as a company. And by boosting that one person's algorithm with those two specific things, just showing love and commenting, it brings more people to that person and Gobi Trade House. 
So again, if you haven't watched the training, go back into the um, back office where I went over more strategy stuff for Facebook. But again, it's about customer service. So I wanted to share that today. Back to you, Kenny. Most definitely, most definitely. Thank you, Dee, thank you. I know you have a lot of really good information about Facebook advertising marketing. You do a great job with engagement on your Facebook page. So anybody who just needs uh, an example uh, to look at as far as how you wanna market yourself online and brand yourself online, and turn your Facebook into an automatic lead generator, all right, just by posting content. Uh, D is a great example of that, okay? So definitely wanna check out her Facebook page and some of the stuff she's saying is very important, like the algorithms on Facebook, leaving, doing things in a certain type of way, leaving comments. And whenever you do see somebody in the group post and say, hey, you know, show some love on my post, go do it, right? Because it, it could be part of the culture. It's really gonna help that person when they make a post they're excited about their experience in Gobi, right? And then you see all these, you know, you have, you have 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 comments of people saying, I agree, or great job, or keep it up, right? Then people on their Facebook profile are going to say, wow, what is this person doing? Like, where's all this engagement coming from? And then before you know it, that person's eventually going to reach out to them. And that just helps the overall group because we're growing all right, and we're getting more people making money, more residual earners, and that's going to spread the message much faster. Okay, so uh, definitely great information. That is a deep topic we can get into for sure, uh, um, more on the marketing side of the business. So thank you, D. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into a trade review uh, last night. So I definitely want to bring up my brother Joe. Uh, last night we took a, a lesson on a um, on a fake out on Euro JPY. All right, and uh, so we want to check out and see exactly what happened on this pair. Uh, we had some other solo alerts that did some did some really good action. Uh, I had an Australian NZD pair that I woke up this morning and it really did well. All right, but we unable to send those uh, particular alerts out. But it's good to see the market structure and see those uh, trades actually manifest uh, in any way. Okay, because again, remember, uh, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Okay, so you're going to have losses along the way. You're going to have obstacles along the way as you're learning how to trade in Forex. And I always try to tell people, okay, as you're trading and as you try to grow your account, you wanna make sure that number one, you're trading with money that is not going to, uh, that you're not trying, that you're not living off of. Trade what you're able to afford, trade what you're able to uh, risk. If you can only trade with $50, trade with $50. You can trade with $100, trade with $100. We have some people out here that are trading with large accounts. I've had some conversations with some people even yesterday all right, that has blown my mind how much money that they've been making on these running back challenge trades and other trades. Uh, it's ridiculous amounts of, of money, all right, that's being generated on some of these trades. But some people, the new people are still learning and you are where you're supposed to be, all right? When I first got started trading, uh, I actually, I, I was taking losses as well along the way, all right? Uh, but eventually you learn how to overcome these things because again, it's not about, and which is what we're about to go over right now. It's not about the loss. It's about how, why you lost. And that's why you, that's how you get better. You got to understand what happened there. So the next time you'll be able to make a, make the particular adjustment. And we're going to get into that right now. So Joe, um, how, how you feeling this morning, brother? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And uh, I want to see a smile on everybody's face. So uh, first I'm going to start off with this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's enough. <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, so, uh, you know, as Kenny just mentioned, everybody, we we took an L last night, but that L stands for lesson. Um, yes, we have financial, uh, you know, lessons as well as far as how much you know possibly lost on the trade. Um, but at the same time, we're going to be able to bounce back because we look at the trading world and the trading uh, community um, and the forex market as an opportunity each day to bounce back from a, a, a trade that we, that we either won or we lost. So we have to make sure we're able to, uh, you know, bounce back, um, keep a ton of vision. As I mentioned earlier this week, I think it was, um, but focus on the next task at hand. The next task at hand is to learn from the trade that we just previously uh, took. We put in the review mirror, 
And from there, we, we go on forward. We're looking a big glass mirror ahead of us. Or not the mirror, but the uh, windshield ahead of us, okay? That's why the windshield in front of us is always bigger than what's in the back. Um, all right, so tray review. So if everybody can see my screen, you should be able to see the Euro JPY marked up already. Um, and we know what we do, we sell high, we buy low, right? So first off, I'm gonna just let this play out um, and let you check out the market structure. We see here, real quick, uh, let me put this up. All right, we see what the market was doing for us. Uh, we had a nice trend going, a trend line, we have a nice price channel going up and down, right? And what we saw here was basically a double top forming. It gave us a confirmation that uh, we're gonna be able to, this is gonna be a well-respected uh, resistance line, okay? So as we let, I'm gonna let this play out a little bit now. And so I'm gonna let us know when we got into this trade. So now at this point here, uh, as history most likely always repeats itself, right? Um, so at this point here, what we saw was a situation to where we knew that this trend line, this resistance line basically uh, has been respected, okay? So we know that we sell high and we buy low. In this opportunity, it was a situation where we're selling high, okay? So this is why we enter in this trade. So I'm gonna let it play out a little bit more. Uh, we're not into the trade yet. All right, so we, we was looking at this trade right around this time. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for everybody. Um, and what we also see here, on a smaller time frame, we saw that a double top with this on a, I think it was a 30 minute time frame was forming. So this is a situation here to where you can see, where's my path? We can see where we had a double top forming. So on this leg here, we're expecting it to go down. This is at that point where we're looking at the trade possibility of getting in and having a good sniper entry so we can catch these 10 pips on, on the trade, right? So. Um, at this point, we entered the trade. I want to believe it was at this candlestick. Uh, let me give you a good point. It was this candlestick here when we, I think we started looking at it. And then it was this candlestick here where we uh, wanted to make sure it was bearish first. So I'm going to let it play out a little bit more. And so we got that confirmation with this candlestick here. Um, and I believe that's when we entered the trade somewhere right around this blue price here, which is... Uh, 126.406. So we enter the trade, we go on the profit, and then we have a light a pullback again, of course, which happens every trade pretty much. Get back into profit. Now we're floating in the negative. Um, and then at this point, uh, it already hit our stop loss. We had a um a 30, 28, 30 pip cushion with a stop loss, right? Um, so it wasn't a big 35 like we normally do because we know uh, it was gonna have to take a lot for it to break past this level of uh, resistance because of the fact that on a four hour time frame, this is a couple of, it's been a while since prices has been up here. So um, it had to take a lot for it to break past that, that level of resistance and break and hit our stop loss. So. Um, this was a, a situation in the market where history didn't always repeat itself. It was a fake out as far as um, the market goes because I wouldn't even say a fake out, it just, it happens. This happens in trading, this happens in the forest market, this happens in any stock market to where um, it basically goes the other way. We can't control it because if we did, we'll be probably billionaires by now. Um, but what I did see was that it actually broke out and it continued going out. And I believe on the London call, if you was up for it, um, the snipers actually took this on a nice uh, buy, which is a great call because it broke past the level of resistance, which had never been uh, to in a while. Um, and so what happens from there, they was able to snag, I'm pretty sure this is off the top. That's 25, I'm not sure when they we, uh, got in on that trade, but that's a lot of pips on the uptrend for a buy. Um, and so it happens, this is how the market happens. Sometimes we can we can uh, lose on one trade and then we can capitalize by having our charts marked up. 
and seeing, okay, it broke past our structure, it broke past our resistance line. Let me see if I can uh, go the other way with the you know, possibility of a buy situation. So right now, as you see the trade here, um, the buy situation, when it came up, retested, came up, and is retesting again, most likely it's gonna continue working its way up, creating higher highs. So um, hopefully this can be a lesson for all of us still, just even though it was a, a loss financially, um, a lesson learned mentally to where uh, we can kind of like bounce back from it uh, and go from there. And that's what you can see here, um, a double bottom was formed on the 30 minute time frame. So, um, we was close to our ITP. We got about maybe four or five pips in profit, but um, it didn't hit our ITP and that's, that happens, okay? So uh, other than that, uh, let's keep trading. Let's keep trusting the process and keep um, sanding our charts because eventually, like I said, maybe you know, two or three months from now or two or three years from now, I told my personal team this, that we'll be laughing at the $100 loss that we possibly, that we have right now because we'll be making millions of dollars you know, $100,000 per trade. That's my vision for my team and, and everyone here at Goldman Trade House. So um, that's what I have for the trade review as far as your JPY goes. Um, but it definitely just broke from what we planned to happen as far as it, it goes. So other than that, um, let's bounce back and we live to trade another day. Absolutely. Absolutely. That was an excellent breakdown trade review, Joe. Definitely. I appreciate that. Um, so, yes, you know, uh, sometimes that's going to happen in the market. But uh, as the experience grows, uh, you'll be able to see something like that coming. And when it happens, OK, once that pair uh, price came up and it broke resistance or that trend, once it came back and retested, just like the snipers did on the London, that's an opportunity uh, to buy. And you might be able to recover from that. All right. Uh, when that happens. But for all the new people, if you put a stop loss on it, when we enter trades, we enter trades with confidence based on our confirmations. Uh, whether we win or lose that trade, we trust our analysis and we write it out. OK, so if you if you did hit the stop loss on it, you did the right thing. We wrote it out. And now we're seeing an opportunity on how we can make adjustments next time if you're able to see that. All right. But sometimes all we say, if you don't take the loss, you may not get the lesson. The way that uh, I actually started becoming a consistent trader is because I took losses and I, was, I began to start studying my losses, okay? So these are opportunities for you to learn. And let's just uh, uh, know, just like how Joe said, you know, in the future, uh, some of the smaller accounts that we're trading with trying to compound and complete the challenge, uh, we're gonna be looking at these accounts and laughing at the accounts later on down the line because like he said, the potential in the Forex markets is unlimited. OK, once the once you have once the account balances are where they uh, where your goal, or your vision, uh, where you want them to be. Some of these trades that you're making fifty dollars on, that's going to be a five thousand dollar trade soon enough. It's going to be a fifty thousand dollar trade eventually. All right. Once your accounts get to a certain point and you and you become a consistent trader. So uh, cast the vision out. All right. To in the future. Uh, this is a lifelong skill, a lifelong lesson. But the only way we're going to get good is we have to go through the whole experience. All right. So uh, last night, that was some great marks. Fake out in the market. We bounce back, just like Joe said, and we move on. And we're going to pick up on a running back challenge next week. We're now uh, 16 out of 21. OK, so we can still finish over 80 percent accuracy uh, with a maximum of 25 out of 30. So we're going to continue to do that. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next to the next thing. So. All right. So without further so I'm without sorry. further ado, everybody, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, do you mind if I ask a quick question? I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, for the run up the bag challenge, will we start fresh on Monday, like for February, or are we just gonna continue with what we're doing? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's up to you. Uh, so we're gonna start, we always start fresh uh, in the beginning of the month for the new people, but if we still have uh, multiple trades to go. So just continue on your account where you're at to finish off the last 10 trades. Okay. But for all the new people just getting started, uh, the new people can start off fresh on the running back challenge on trade one. Um, okay, perfect. So we'll, yeah, on, and on Sunday, um, there'll be a run up the back challenge um, preparation call, right, with Jordan, Mike Taylor, Joe, and everybody. So uh, just tune in on Sunday, and they'll have a lot of uh, uh, answers for your questions. They'll be breaking it down, and it's going to be really good to attend that. I think it's Sunday at 6.30. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, no problem.
All right, one second, guys. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull up my chart here. Can everybody see my screen? No. Yes, sir. Sure. All right, perfect. So uh, today is an, today is an exciting day. Uh, uh, so we've actually received the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. All right. So today is the day where everybody will be able to um, actually register for the analyzer, uh, which will be located inside of your courses inside of the back. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I guess you could call it a sneak peek, but I'm kind of going to show you how it actually works as well. But we're going to have further training on the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. I cannot wait to trade with this thing on the sessions. All right. Everybody has access to this indicator. Nobody has this indicator. All right. In the entire industry, this indicator is uh, basically is based around the way we trade. OK, so it's really going to make the sessions easy. It's very easy to understand. All right. It's not difficult. Uh, most people should be able <laughs> Joe pulled out the sniper. <laughs> uh, most people should be able to understand how the analyzer works because it really does about 90% of the work for you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys uh, some, some uh, market structure with the Gobi sniper analyzer. Okay. So let me go ahead and place it on our chart here. All right. Okay, so first thing here, let me go ahead and make my 50 moving average thicker. And I wanna take off these numbers. So I'll break that down later on what all that means. All right, so right now I'm on Euro JPY. I kinda of wanna go back in history a little bit. What makes the Gobi Sniper Analyzer special, all right? The Gobi Sniper Analyzer is special because of the brain inside of it, the parameters that is set, the strategy, because what happens is indicators aren't just indicators. Indicators are built with math inside of it, all right, where basically you have to bring, you have to <laughs> present a lot of data to an engineer so they can actually break down your mindset and put it into an indicator. So that's how indicators are built. They're just not slapped together, okay? Uh, you have certain indicators you could always put on the screen uh, that's given to you uh, by um, by TradingView or by MetaTrader 4, all right? And you can adjust the, the math inside of these indicators to, to your liking. So the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, uh, it looks and it scans the market and it looks and it seeks out opportunities based upon the way that we trade. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys some examples here, all right? So let's go ahead and pull back a little bit. I'm going to go back in time to give a lot of examples, but let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start here. Okay. So with the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, we only really need and we really most like trade with the 50 moving average. All right. So this 50 moving average, uh, this is what this is part of the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. The 50 moving average is really all we need. Part of our eight confirmations is what? We're waiting for our candlestick to close above or below, okay? Our 50 moving average before it's gonna indicate us to actually get into that trade, right? We wanna see that activity happen. So this is, this, does, uh, this is without the support and the resistance. The support resistance is gonna be very important to put with the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. But let me go ahead and zoom in here and I'm gonna break down an example of when to enter this trade and how simple this thing is to use. All right. So what the Gobi Sniper Analyzer does, it's going to give us, for example, you see that the this this hour candlestick, all right, closes below our 50. This hour candlestick, let me zoom in. You guys can see that, right? So what happens is the hour candlestick closes below our 50, all right? And it gives you a very simple sniper cell entry. So exactly how what we talk about. So it's very clear. You don't need to even second guess. It's telling you when to sell and when the, <laughs> when the sniper entry point is. 
is telling you the sniper cell entry point is right here. All right. Now, this is the cool part, right? What the, what the Gobi Sniper Analyzer does. What are we always waiting on before we enter a trade? What are we always waiting, waiting on before we enter a trade? Retest. There you go. Who, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> who said that in the chat? Retest. Yes, sir. You, you tell, you're right. Waiting on a retest, right? So this is where the sniper actually comes into play. So the sniper, in, right when the 50 closes, the sniper cell entry point pops up. Once the hour counts, it closes below. Then when this, when this pops up, this where it says short, it's telling us to literally create a short. And this is the retest. So if I go on the smallest time frame, this thing makes trading so, so easy, right? If I go on the smaller time frame, I'll go on the 15. Now you can see where the retest happens, right? You can see the retest on a smaller time frame. Okay. You can see it on you can see it on a smaller time frame. From here to here. So what the Gobi Sniper Analyzer is telling is literally tells you after. Let me go back on a larger time frame. It's telling you to take a short because the retest is complete and it's, and it's giving you a, a, a confirmation that it's time for you to go ahead and get into this trade. Now you can get in on the sniper sell entry, all right? And you can make money on that, all right? Because from here all the way to the close, you see guys where it says close, it gives you, especially on the hour time frame, from the sniper sell entry, all the way to the close point, this is 43 pips. 43 pips is just, just, just <laughs> is thrown out, right? And also, the cool thing about it is that whenever you put your support and resistance on, you'll be able to find yourself a really nice, simple stop loss when you put your support and resistance on, and I'll show you, all right? It doesn't get any easier than this. 43 pip drop from the sniper entry point to the close entry. But if you want to take it from where it says short, this is the more, this is the more accurate. From when, when it says short, you literally click on short position and you take a short right when it tells you to hop in on the short. So where it says short to close, it tells you when to get in, when to get out. That's a 28 pip move. That's a 28 pip move given by the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, okay? So let me show you guys the history and how this happens throughout, throughout the markets. You know, when we came back and back tested this thing, it's pretty crazy. Let's give another example on a buy where we take a long. It doesn't get any easier than that. Once you put it on your screen. Oh my God, Joseph going to come on after that. Hold on, let me, uh, let me go ahead and do mute. Let me mute out one second. All right. So once you put this on your screen, it immediately marks up the eight confirmations. And all you're doing is waiting on the sniper buy entry indicator. So in this case, what happened? We got a sniper buy entry, right? So when this popped up, what do you do? You're, you're, you can either get into the buy right now because what happened is it shot up. All right. And you see that the hour candlestick closed above our 50. And then what happened, it came down and retested and it told us to take a long all the way until this close point. So when you see long pop up, when you see long pop up, that is your retest zone. You don't even have to second guess. When you see long, your retest zone is complete. So what do you do? You take a long all the way into the close entry point. That's 36 pips right there. 36 pips uh, that's thrown out by the, the sniper analyzer on a long. Let's go ahead and do it again. Let's look right here. Sniper cell entry point, right? We got a sniper cell entry. Our 50 closes below. We wait on the retest. We wait on the retest. It tells us to take a short all the way down to the close. Now, if you want to, 
you do a short, right? All the way down to the close, boom, 29 pips. But look, it really threw it out all the way into this wick. That's a 50 pip move. But what I like about the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, what's happening is not making you overtrade. I mean, how many, how many, how many guys would be happy to get 20, 30, or 40 pips every time the sniper for sale entry point in the short or the, or the long pops up? Let me get a one 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 in the chat and some dollar signs in the chat. If you'll be fine with just printing 20 of the pips, all right, just back to back with the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. Okay. Let's look at it again. Same thing here. We have sniper by entry. Bam, that's the first thing that pops up, right? Why? Because our hour candle closes, closes above our 50. Everything that we do on our live sessions, this, this does it for you automatically as soon as you put it on the screen. All right? We're just breaking it down in steps. This already has the steps mapped out. All it's doing is waiting for the indicator, the indication to pop up for us to hop in a trade. So a beginner trader can make money with the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. It's not hard, right? So our candlestick closes above. All right, you see the retest? Tells us to do a long, right? We do a long all the way to it tells us when to close. When that close order pops up, why does the close order pop up? Because basically it sees a potential reversal in the market and it tries to protect your account. See, it reversed back a little bit. It tells you to close. Even though it continued up, you should have already got out this trade and made your money, right? From long to close, 33 pips. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. It's, 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 it's literally a money printer. Let's go ahead and go to another example in the market. Matter of fact, let me go. I can show you guys. Because the Gobi Sniper Analyzer works on everything. Let me go ahead and go to a crypto. Let's go to BTC USD. Oh my God, let me close my screen out. I see the, the annotation on my screen. Give me one second. I want to get that stuff off. All right, it's gone. All right, so this is Bitcoin. Now, you know Bitcoin is collecting major pips, right? Anything crypto. So let's go ahead and give you an example how crazy it gets on crypto. All right. So the same thing happens here. Let's look at let's look at this. All right. So let me zoom in. So we have a sniper cell entry. Our sniper cell entry signal pops up, right? Because our hour candlestick came and it wicked below our moving 50 average at our correct parameters. It comes back to retest. Bam, your sniper right there where it says short. That retest zone is the, is the true sniper, okay? Right there. Now it's time to get into this trade. All you do is you get, take a short. From here to the close zone, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is 150, this is over 150 pips. 150 pip move on cryptocurrency. So to use this on cryptocurrency is going to be ridiculous. All right, 150 pips. All right, predicted by the Gobi stock. I mean, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and look at another zone for crypto. I, I think it was more than that, Kenny. I think it was more than that. It says uh, 158,563. So it could be more than that, right? It could be more than that. We need a, a, that BTC calculator. Um, but even if it's 150 pips, that's crazy, right? So let's go ahead and give another example of when this happens. I mean, it's so consistent, guys. It's so consistent every single time. 
Boom. Sniper by entry. Comes up. Retest. Long. Right? Tells us to take a, a long. All we do is we come, we take a long position to our close. It tells us when to close. Bam, we get out. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is says 52,000. So I mean, yeah, that could be on Bitcoin over 50 pips, or it could be more than that. I need the Bitcoin calculator, but let's just say for this example, that's a 50 pip move right there. Same thing right here. Are you guys are you guys starting to understand how easy this is because of parameters? It does everything that we're looking for, right? Sniper cell entry. Closes below our 50, retest zone, takes a short, tells us when to close. It tells us exactly what you need inside of the Forex market. It's the hardest things for anybody who's learning how to trade is when to get in a market and when to get out the market, all right? That sniper, buy or sell entry point, and when to get out before the reversal. So this covers all of that for you just by putting it on the chart, all right? It tells you the sniper buy entry point. If you wait and be patient, wait until it says short or long, then you get inside of the pair and you wait till it tells you to get out. By the time it tells you to get out, you would have made a lot of money on this pair. So this, the, um, let me go ahead and move on a little bit. Let's go ahead because do we have any people who like to trade uh, uh, stocks, right? Let's go ahead and look at, let's look at Tesla. Anybody who likes to trade stocks, this works the same way on stocks, okay? You can put this on any stock, all right? Right now, I'm on Tesla. So anybody who trades stocks, you let them know that we have something for them, guys. We have something for them, all right? That they can put on their MetaTrader, on their, on their, um, on their stock broker accounts. Sniper buy entry tells us when to take a long, right? Close it above our 50. We do a long position. That's a lot of money right there in the stock. All right. And it does it all day long the exact same way. All right. So uh, I can keep going and keep going and showing you example, example, example after example. But guys, the Gobi Sniper Analyzer is built around the way that we trade. All right. And it makes trading very, very easy once you put it on the charts. So what I would do to make it even better, okay? If I were to mark up the charts, I will put my support and resistance on like this, all right? And when your support and resistance on, you're really gonna be able to get your stop loss game really good because your support and resistance uh, is on. So you'll be able to see what happens here, all right? So this is a good example of that. Sniper cell entry, right? Closes below our 50. We wait till it says short on the retest. We come down all the way here to this next support zone. You see it broke. And once it recognizes a market reversal, which is this uh, bullish candle right here, as soon as, it, as soon as it saw that, it told us to get out, right? But by the time it told us to get out, boom, 18 pips. Quick 18 pip move. All right. So that being said, guys, the Gobi Sniper Analyzer is uh, it's it's free for everybody inside of Gobi Trade House. It's added to the subscription. Uh, and before I tell you guys how to get it, uh, Joe, do you, Joe, any of our master analyzers, you guys have anything to say about uh, the Gobi Sniper Analyzer? Yeah, yes, I do. Oh, that's, cra <laughs> that's crazy right there, you guys. So this is perfect uh, for anybody who's struggling with their entries. As we know with Forex, everything is all about proper execution, right? So this is going to help that struggling trader who's taking, you know, their own individual trades on when they get in, when they get out, just like Kenny said. Um, so just imagine, imagine, you know, you can be, uh, you can be a profitable trader, right? make a nice bag for yourself with just 20 pips a day, right? Just imagine you got this on 
two to three pairs, five pairs, right? Just imagine those pips. You can, you know, we say 20 pips a day is a good, right? So just imagine how many more pips you guys could, you know, get set, set you like a daily goal and just work your way up as you get more familiar with it, right? So this is perfect right here, you guys. This is like a gold mine. Yes, indeed. And I don't know if y'all can hear me, but I got this uh, game over instrumental plan because it really is game over. But I hope to still see y'all on the Asian sessions and the other sessions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, Come on, tell on the so, sessions, y'all. <laughs> yeah, don't flick out on the sessions just because y'all got this, uh, this sniper analyzer, okay? Uh, like JP just said, we can really eat off of this every every day. Um, it's going to be important to still get those fundamentals of support and resistance down. Um, but it's game over, honestly, because, um, yeah, you see, you can eat 20 pips a day. You'll be headed straight to pip view, as uh, Mark uh, like to say. So All right. It's, it's hey, over. Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Now, look, this is trading view, right? So ideally, trading view, well, well I guess this is my question for the sniper, right? Um, now alerts. trading view allows us to be able to put, uh, alerts on everything. Now, can you see if we can put an alert on that sniper indicator for, uh, for a sniper sell entry, sniper buy entry? I, I've been playing with it. I haven't, uh, been able to do it yet, but we can, I think we'll better come up with something. Okay, to give us, this is it how might be having to cross so that EMA. Go to it, go, go, go write, to your set, go to your settings right quick. Go to your settings. Hit an alert. Oh, no, no. Go to your snipe, go be sniper uh, settings. Oh, hold on. I just took it off. One second. I don't know, those are just, uh, 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 right click and hit alert. Yeah, I, well, you could do that. I was, I was gonna show you that there. So if you, let's say for this short, you can right click and you can add an alert. Yeah, however, add alert. Sniper, however, yeah, right there. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet if, you know, we have to we have to play with this. I haven't done an alert on it yet, but I do see that the option does pop up. So we probably just gotta toggle with it. But yeah, I got. Say, it. But if we can if we can set alerts on shorts. It, it's that's pretty crazy right there. That's oh yeah, that'd more. be crazy, man. Yeah, that that'll be even more crazy. I mean, uh, either way, with, with or without it, man. Like yeah. this is gold mine right here. This is gold mine. Right. Hey, game over, you guys. Yeah. I, Everybody I on this call, game over. I think we will better set an alert once the once that candlestick crosses the fifty. That's gonna give us that first indication of it uh, possibly breaking. And then that'll kind of put us in tune with uh, the next sniper entry. So I think once we play with it some more, we'll um, we'll get it down. Right. All right. Hey, so let's get Gerald some time with it. If you're excited about getting the Gobi <laughs> Sniper Analyzer and you want to learn how to get it for yourself, let me get some dollar signs in the chat. Let me get some dollar signs in the chat. If you're excited about the Gobi Sniper Analyzer and you want to learn how to get it. Kenny, you gonna go back to your trading view to show him? Am I on trading view right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, can you just, see my screen? Yeah, just to the beginning so where I can see the, um, the screen name. You see, up, well, yeah, so the, it says Gobi Sniper Analyzer up here. Um, this is how this is how you guys are going to be able. To, this is how you guys are going to be able to get the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. All right. So it's going to be added to the courses. So uh, today, uh, later on today, all right. Uh, after this evening, probably this evening, maybe even before that, I'll I'll keep you guys posted in the group. But definitely today, there's going to be a short registration form uh, in the back office. All right. There's only one thing you have to do to continuously um, have access to the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. And that's that's the same thing that we do with everything else. Just remain an active member inside of Gobi Trade House. Keep an active subscription, all right? So you can still have access to your membership area, our live sessions, 
uh, the Gobi Autobot, all right? And now the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, okay? So as long as you're active, all right, the Gobi Sniper Analyzer is always going to be yours, all right? And whenever, if someone, if you go inactive for whatever reason, then it doesn't automatically take you off, but we, someone probably will reach out and say, hey, you know, do you still want these services? Because, you know, some people don't realize that, hey, you know, that if their subscription has gone inactive for whatever reason, um, and we don't want to just take anybody off of it if they don't know. So we'll be reaching out just in case you go inactive before we remove anybody from it, right? So everybody has the opportunity uh, to keep this service, to keep all the services inside of Gobi Trade House. All right, and all you got to do is just remain an active member, and that's all. That's all. $99 a month. Uh, this is so much value, all right, that we're getting for $99 a month inside of Gobi, and we don't have any plans on changing it at all. All right, so the way that you get it is in the back office, there's going to be an area inside of the back office, all right, later on today, that's going to say Gobi Sniper Analyzer Registration. And you're going to have to have an active trading view account all right, we need your trading view username. Uh, we're gonna need your first, your last name, okay? And you just have to answer uh, if you are an active member inside of Gobi Trade House and just agree to the terms of use uh, for the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. And after you agree to the terms of use and all of that, we're gonna get the email and then we're just gonna go ahead and add you to it. So I know there's gonna be a huge chunk of people that's gonna register for it today whenever we release it. So uh, the goal is to get everybody over the weekend, starting from today, all over the weekend to get everybody active on the Gobi Sniper Analyzer. We just have to place everybody's trading view account there manually one by one. So it's going to be a lot of work over the weekend, but uh, we, the plan is to have everybody, all right, active on it. So we can open up the trade, trade week and everybody's going to be able to start printing their own money, all right? But we'll also be ready to start analyzing this data testing it and using it on our live session starting on Sunday. All right. So uh, with that being said, guys, uh, you guys just stay tuned in the trade community. I'm super excited to uh, release this to the organization. We've been working really hard on the back end, uh, our engineers and everybody that we have, our software developers to make sure we can put this together the right way. All right. We had a version of it a couple of weeks ago, but we had to go back and beta test a couple of things to make sure it was done right. And the accuracy level on this one is so much more ridiculous. All right, you guys are really gonna enjoy using the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, all right? So with that being said, uh, that's gonna conclude Coffee with Gobi. Uh, we do have a, um, a crypto session at one o'clock uh, where we will be using the Gobi Sniper Analyzer, all right? So if you wanna tune in and, and see this bad boy in action, we'll see you guys in about an hour and a half and let's go ahead and run up the bag on some cryptocurrency. And and the lunch and learn in the 15 and 12 minutes. All right, lunch and learn. Lunch and learn as well. So Friday, Friday is packed and back to back. All right. And then you know, your day is done around two o'clock, and then we're done until Sunday, right? So uh everybody will see you on the lunch and learn. We'll see you on the crypto session where we'll be using the Gobi Sniper Analyzer and look out in your back office and in the trade community on how to register for this thing uh later on today. All right, peace, everybody. Everybody, go be great. Go be great. We'll see you guys on the sessions. Let's go. Let's go. What time Appreciate is the lunch and learn? What time we is the lunch and We're starting in 10, in 10 minutes. We're starting in 10, 10 minutes. minutes. Oh, yeah. bet, bet. Later, go be great. Go be great. Peace, everybody. Go be great.